Hi, I'm Emily Gilnick, I'm a striker. <laughs> Welcome to Birmingham. So, what are your first impressions of Birmingham? Because it's a very yeah. unique city in the UK. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I actually, I don't know if you know Peaky Blinders, but that's the first thing that came to mind. Love that show. I don't hate it, and it's growing on me, so I like it. I, I do love like that. It. I love yeah. that. Look, of course, you came over here, but you've played all over the world. You're like the United Nations of a Matilda. Germany, Sweden, Norway, Canada, um, Japan, Liverpool 10 years ago. Which oh, so I forgot about I know, that. I forgot about it too. It doesn't really count because like that. the league is you can't even compare it now. Yeah. Um, and I guess the, like the biggest reason that I've done that is because I wanted to experience all different cultures and philosophies and styles of football. I know it's common now these days to sign two to three year contracts, but I had like a really strict rule with myself one season, one season only. And this is the first time really that I've assigned a one plus one. So which okay. means potentially I'm here to stay and I want some consistency going into 2023 so that's the plan and look you must admit this league is becoming very quickly one of the best mm -hmm. leagues in the world quality players absolutely opportunities for european opposition you know all the most of the matildas are yeah. based in europe now yeah. it, it's it's got a lot of things going for it doesn't it it does i didn't it i wouldn't say it was on the list or on, off the list it kind of just happened it was just kind of like timing for me just like all the other uh, opportunities have come and just out of nowhere timing right place right time and I think for me it wasn't about being at the biggest club with the brightest lights and I wanted to get first hand insight which is why I called you which is why you gave me the contact <laughs> like really important for me to like yeah. not just you know get the information that someone wants me I want to know what's going on inside that club what they're willing yeah. to build what what their goals are what their aspirations are everything the philosophy of the club and ideally Aston Villa isn't like the club that everyone's dying to go to but for me at this time in my career, I knew it was, and now I absolutely know it's exactly where I need to be and want to be, so I'm happy with the decision. Thank and you. The, yeah, you're welcome, you're welcome. Yeah. There's a crucial thing, right? It's, yeah. it's all going to be leading up to performance, exactly. leading up to the World Cup. Yeah, I mean, I just, I just want that consistency of games, and obviously, like, as a number nine now and not being a winger, I love assisting, but now my my goal is to score. Back to scoring. Back to scoring, that's which, what, that's which when, is That's when I played with you in Brisbane Raw, that's what you were. You're a target yeah. player, you're a finisher. Mm -hmm. You like you get the if you yeah. get the deliveries you will finish. Yeah, and well, I know this. It's funny about you, you say that because last season when I did play in the W League, I went back to the nine. I got top goal scorer. So Em, I I'm was, not surprised <laughs> by that, mate. I'm not surprised. I was That's how I know pretty you. happy. I, I do exactly. miss the feeling, and I do love that someone's got the confidence uh, in me to bring me to the club to do that job. So uh, hopefully I, I don't let them down. But I'm looking forward to getting back out there. What are the aspirations for Aston mm -hmm. Villa for this season? Obviously, top five for me is a non-negotiable. Mm -hmm. I know top three is pushing it, but yeah. I'd, I didn't come here to lose. Ambitious, but I think that's how I want to be and I'll, I'll, I'll stick to that. I definitely um, want to win something here at this club and you know I've potentially got two years to try and do it. And even if it's not this season, maybe it is the next. But for me, it's just about coming here, consistently scoring and doing anything I can to help the team win.